shortly after 8 a.m., our suspect was captured. I want to say, first and foremost, thank God there were no injuries to law enforcement or to the public. We obviously became deeply concerned after the suspect was able to steal a weapon. He was apprehended this morning with no shots fired. I want to say thank you to the dedicated law enforcement professionals from every level who each and every day go out of their homes, leave their families, leave their loved ones to keep us safe. The public over the last 13 days has had a chance to see what excellence in law enforcement means, what true dedicated professionalism is all about. I couldn't be more proud to be standing up here today with these professionals from every level. And while they did extraordinary work, we had a tremendous assist from the public here in Chester County. I want to say thank you to the public for their vigilance. Thank you for the constructive tips that they shared. Thank you for remaining on guard. We recognize this has been a concerning and trying time for each and every one of you in the region. And we want to thank you for your support of law enforcement and for your support of this effort that led to this capture today. I hope the good people of Pennsylvania and indeed the folks all across this nation got a chance to see how government is supposed to work, how law enforcement is supposed to work, where we all come together, where we focus on the mission. And while the women and men up here behind me may wear different uniforms and different badges, we were here with common purpose, and that was to apprehend this suspect and keep people safe. Leading this effort has been the Pennsylvania State Police. And I know I'm going to get booed by some of the folks behind me for saying this. I believe this. I believe they are the fun enforcement agency in the United States of America. And I could not be more proud to be the governor of this Commonwealth and to have the chance to serve in public service alongside these great leaders in the Pennsylvania State Police. Leading the effort for us is Colonel Christopher Paris who did yeoman's work overseeing this operation together with Lieutenant Colonel Bivens. All Pennsylvanians, gentlemen, are indebted to you for your bravery, for your courage, and for your tremendous leadership.